What's up everybody, it's your boy Grace Plays. Welcome back to the channel. I know that it's been a few days since this Bleeding Darkness with Jungwon and Nikki came out. I just didn't really feel up to recording the past couple days if I'm being honest with you, but I feel pretty good today. So hopefully we can have some fun. As for you that have been around on the channel for quite some time, you do know that I'm a, honestly a huge and hyping fan. I know we don't react to them as much as of late, if that makes sense, but I've seen most of Island. I truly do have a connection with these boys and so many like, and even just watching Island, like it's, it's hard not to like, just appreciate watching them grow as individuals and watching them grow in their career and things like that. Like in Hypen, honestly, in my opinion, in a couple years is going to be a huge, like, and I mean huge group. They already are, but you know what I mean. Now, I've kind of always been like a Nikki wrecker, to be honest with you. I'm obviously OT7 all the way, but Nikki's kind of been my wrecker for, you know, honestly, since the beginning. Jay's my bias, so hopefully Nikki doesn't do anything in this video to emotionally damage or wreck me further, but I have no hopes for that whatsoever because I know how studio tunes go, so... And now it's time to get into Mix and Max with Jungwon and Nikki. I'm excited. All right, I'm ready for the Mix and Max. I know it's going to be good. It's going to be a really good performance. Oh, excuse me, Jungwon. Why is it a little key? He is. That's why. Wow, already very vampire feeling with the outfit. Very drunk days, give and take and vibes. Okay. Oh. so good oh my god it is it is vampire based i didn't think it was good i really didn't think it was gonna be actually i i just was like i was literally just making a comment on like how the outfits were that's crazy but like dude, wow dude i love how nikki hops up behind him and covers his eye and then just dude, it's a performance you have to remember that oh yo Dude, that's oh my god, dude! The, the dancing is already amazing. I love this part. It almost looks like Jun Wong like takes him down to the ground in a way, but then he like does that slide underneath his leg. It looked really, really good. Dude, absolute performers. Oh, I love that. Ta -ta -ta -ta. You know, honestly. I love Nikki's flesh colored outfit. I think it's very fitting with what's going on here, but like it's confusing to me because Jungwon on the other hand is wearing a very pure outfit, a very all white outfit, almost of like he's um, almost like he is definitely changed to something he isn't is what it seems like, but I don't, I don't know, maybe not, maybe I'm looking too deep, I don't know. Oh, oh, see, I love that. It looks like he's trying to contain a beast that's within Jungwon. The way he like, like almost like opening Pandora's box for just a second and then closing it. That's like really what that looked like. Uh, dude, that's, that's. You know what this honest? Oh, okay. All right. That's, yeah, that's why he's my wrecker. <laughs> Nikki is amazing, dude. Like, honestly. Dude, I gotta be real with you. I gotta be real with you. It almost kind of reminds me of something. It's almost like they're doing um, like a dance of death. Like almost like um, maybe Jung Wan's gonna change. I don't know. But it's almost like they're dancing together, doing this like dance of like not life, you know, like like dance of life kind of thing. Like it's almost like they're dancing together because they're trying to do this like like I portrayed in a way of dance, if that makes sense. I don't know how to explain it further. <laughs> but it's like, I don't know. Oh, oh, I, oh my God. Did you see the outfit change one? Haven't even looked at it all the way. First of all, I hated the sound, though. That was like, oh, uh, but that was cool. What the fuck? Okay, see now that's very unpure outfit. Like that's very reds, blacks. Oh, my God. Dude, Nikki is such a good dancer, bro. I don't feel like he gets enough respect in the industry, like from others, like not just like in hype and fans and like, you know, like people like me and stuff like he is an incredible dancer. Everything he does looks so smooth. Every every pinpoint like thing is sharp. It's like you can just see it, though. Like he just see flows like. It's it's like interpretive dance. It really is. See, but here's my thing. It's like, oh my god. What's he gonna? I want 
to end this? Ah, uh, see, okay. See, to me right here, this makes me feel like Jung Wan's like fighting change. Like he's going through the change right now. He's still wearing that white pure outfit. He's still Jung Wan. But I think like you got to remember Nikki bit him. So I can only assume that he would change it to a vampire. That makes sense. But like he's uh, he can you can tell he's struggling right here. See, he's like 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 going through all of it and stuff. And Nikki's right there by his side. Why it's happening. But dude, that shit's fire. Dude, dude, this makes me I had never finished Island. I watched eight episodes of it on my Patreon and then like I started going through some stuff. So I just kind of like stopped watching it. But like. I just remember Jung Wan being so like he was the guy in the show that everybody was like always impressed with no matter what, like no matter what was going on. Everybody pretty much was always like, dude, that Jung Wan kid, like the Jung Wan, Jung Wan, like, you know, and I loved it. I loved hearing that because he deserves it. But this right here, just like look how fucking good. He performs. Look at this shit. Look at the dance. That Yo, he's hitting that shit, dog. <laughs> oh, honey, did you see how good that looked? Look at Nikki do that shit. Hold on. Look at this little like with the shake right here. And then, it, dude, it all goes full circle, bro. That was fucking dope. That was actually really, really sick. I liked that a lot. I liked that a lot. Dude, bravo. This boy's killed it. I honestly want to watch the whole ending part just one more time real quick. Like, just one once through real quick. I, like, I, uh, uh. Dude, Joe Watt's eating that shit alive. <laughs> oh, and the footwork? Dude, I don't know. That's kind of fire. I don't know, dude. Might be my favorite studio tumor. One of them for sure. That was it, honestly, this was really, really cool. I, I, I think it's really cool, too, about it is the fact that they're the first ones to do this mix and max thing. Right. And um, I think they set an amazing standard. That's what makes you really, really happy about it, because I feel like you're like people who come on after this are like they're always going to be the first ones. Like they're always going to be the first ones that I did this kind of thing for Stu Studio Tomb. And I just I don't know. I think they did a fantastic job. I really do. I think people have like a standard, a set standard. Like, hey, like look how Jung Wan and Nikki did that shit. Dude, they owned it. They ate it up, dude, because they did. Man, I really fucking loved that. I thought that was really, really good. The boys absolutely killed it. I will say, because I don't know if everybody knows, I know like some people are casual and hyping fans. They do have a Japanese comeback happening pretty soon where uh, I think it's Japanese Tame Dashed on like May 2nd or something like that. So everybody make sure you stream that for sure. The teaser photos look amazing to say the least. But figured I'd just say that real quick for people that don't know, obviously. But other than that, I mean, this performance as a whole, just in general, was really, really good. They absolutely owned it. They definitely made it theirs. But like I said, I think they set a standard. And that really makes me happy, especially like because I'm, I'm genuinely like, I'm a huge and hyping fan. Like I listen to their music all the time. I know so many of their B-sides, too, and stuff that we haven't even reacted to on the channel and things. And I just like these these boys, are they, they make my kind of music. With that being said, if you made it all the way to the end, I appreciate you. Please leave a like, subscribe, all that good stuff. It definitely helps my channel reach other people, other and hyping fans, other just K-pop fans in general that like all this music, like groups and stuff like that. So I'm greatly appreciative of that if you can do that for me. But with that being said, you boys gonna go ahead and bounce. Make sure you check out all the links in the description and I'll see you next time, all right? Peace.